Welcome to Sweet Talk SLP. I'm Crystal and I'm a pediatric speech language pathologist. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how I organize my speech sound disorder binder. But before we get started, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe, also like this video and share it with your friends. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, we are going to go over my speech sound disorder binder. It's, I carry it along to all of my visits. I'm a home health traveling SLP and not to all of my visits, to visits that for kids that have speech sound disorders. Um, but I try to keep everything in this binder that I need for all of those kids. So there are some materials in here that are very specific to the kids that I see and they do change and rotate. And so I do change them out and I do rotate and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about um, as we get into it. It took me longer than expected to do the video on this binder because I feel like I'm always changing things in it and I feel like I'm never truly happy with it, but I feel like I'm always going to be adding new things as they come around or as I buy them or as I find them and find them useful for my you know, speech therapy sessions. So I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna show you what it looks like so far. The binder that I use is a one and a half inch binder. Uh, for now, this is the perfect size for the materials that I have um, inside of it. I don't know if it'll always be the best size, but since I'm rotating things in and out of it, I think for now one and a half is okay for me. So first in the pocket, I do have a few random sheets. And so I do keep them in there in case I need them for some of my kids. Of course, these are specific to kids that are on my case though currently, so I don't have all of them in here for every sound because I don't need them for every sound. As you can see, I have some G1s in here and I think I just saw some D um, N. So I keep these handy just in case I need to give them for homework <clears throat> or we're coloring in, in our session. The first tab that I have includes my original set of Biorm speech sound cue cards. I carry them all with me and I do have them in these baseball card holders. Behind my original deck of Biorm speech cue cards, I have a, a divider where I also have a second deck and the second deck that I have is the cycles deck for initial and final consonant deletion. This is the collaboration between Amy Graham and Bjorn Speech. So I have both of those decks in their entirety in this binder. Again, these are also in the baseball card sheet holders. <laughs> so next I do have a little folder with a little snap and inside of the folder I have a mix of different Adventures in Speech Pathology cards. Now all of these cards, or most of these cards, are doubles, so they have two of every card in case I want to play memory um, or for other games and activities where I would require a matching of cards. Again, I have these specific to kids that are on my current caseload, so I don't have all of the sounds. I do take them out and then I put them in my little speech cubby back here as I'm not using them and then take them out. Um, I also, I don't have them all printed out. I print them as I need them. And um, yeah, so I probably have maybe like a fourth of her cards. Behind that folder, I also have the cards laid out in some of the baseball card sheets, just in case I want to go through them in a different format or I'll take the cards out of the folder and have them match them on top of these. Um, or whatever. It's just I always need extra decks on hand and so I can always remove them from this sheet protector if I need to, but I just have extras just in case. I have another tab where I have all these sounds. These are from Anna D SLP and so they every sound is represented in here and I have them all in clear cover sheets um, front and back. And so it says what the sound is and how you make the sound. It has some cues and then it talks about where you're, where you can find your sounds um, and then has little tracing sticks to follow and then some more words. So these would probably be used for just little quick, you know, quick little drills and then I can make copies of these if I need to give them out for homework. Um, but I do have these in here in case I need to do activities in a different way other than my Adventures in Speech Pathology cards. Um, and I also have the entire book laminated and binded with, uh, what are they called? 
finding discs. I did a video on that. And so I carry that also with me. It's actually in my speech sound disorder. Um, I have a bin, and so it's in there with some other materials. And I'll do a video on that later um, once that's a little bit more organized. If this is any clue on how long it takes me to get things together, you know, that, that was gonna take a while. So I have another folder in here, a divider folder with a snap. And in here I have some syllable webs, I have some from Therapy Materials Vault, and then I have some from the Speech Bubble. And again, these are just some of the sounds that I had been working on. So I have some of the Speech Bubble ones in K and G, and then I have some of the Therapy Material Vault ones. I have sh and S. Um, and then I have a large one back here for sh as well. Again, for some of the kids that I'm working on CV or VC only, because um, we're doing articulation-based therapy, then I might pull some of these out. And then behind all of that, I purchased these CV sheets from Bjorn Speech that all contain CV combination with long vowels. And so it has the consonant and a vowel, and then it has some places to mark them. And so I have those all in here printed. Um, with clear cover sheets. So for now, my binder is complete with the things that I need. It has been very useful for me and I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. So I'd love to know what your go-to speech products are. I always feel like I need to add more to this binder and I feel like it, it has enough, right? There's a lot of things in here, but I'm always looking and I have my eyes open and peeled for more things. Mostly because I love working with speech sound disorders, so I feel like that's just where my eye goes and I'm always looking for more materials under that scope. So if there's anything that you use out there that maybe I don't have in this binder, I'd love to know. I mean, I obviously have more speech sound disorder products. Like I said, I have Adventures in Speech Pathology, um, already binded in a book. I've been working on some strips from um, Busy Speech Mom, and so here's a little sneak peek of them, but they don't fit in my binder. I have them in my articulation bin instead, and so uh, I'll be doing a review on those in the future. But yeah, I'd love to know which of these you have and love and which ones you have that I don't have that I need in this binder because it's always a... This binder will always be a moving binder and I'll always be switching things off. What I don't have in here are some of my Spanish materials. Currently, I only have one kid with that has speech sound disorder in Spanish and so I have a folder um, for him. And actually, I have folders for each of my speech sound disorder kids because I have other worksheets that are not in here that I have in every individual folder. So there's that also. Maybe I'll go through some of those folders one day just to kind of show you how I organize them and keep them together to help you know, keep me on track with my kids. But yeah, that's all I have for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this helps you organize your speech sound disorder binder if you were thinking of making one, if you already have one, you're trying to figure out how to put it together. Um, I hope this helps you out a little bit or gives you ideas. Um, if you even need one at all, maybe you don't need a speech sound disorder binder, but this works very well for me. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and liking this video and sharing with your friends and ringing the notification bell. I post videos once a week, so I'd love it if you'd come back and join me. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.